You can use this build for as low as 84,000 silver. Hey everyone, Burned here from BurnstoneTV.com back with another budget build for Stalker Corrupted Dungeons. Today we are going to take a look at the Boltcasters, which seem to just rip through enemies very quickly. Without further ado, let's jump right into the build. Front and center of course are the Boltcasters. A tier 4.1 should be more than enough for Stalker Corrupted Dungeons. For PvE, I use Q2, W3, and second passive, and of course the bolt casters E. When switching to PvP, I use Q1 and W1. I tried different Q and W abilities as you will see in the highlights later, but I determined that Q1 and W1 inflicts more damage over time and can give you more flexibility and survivability for most fights. For the headpiece, I use the Demon Helmet with the third ability and first passive. I also use the Mercenary Jacket with the third ability and the first passive as well. You can use any plate shoes for the Refreshing Sprint and second passive. This build uses a regular cape similar to our other budget builds. I use Healing Potion for this build and a Beef Stew for extra damage. Let's look at a fight in real time and let's break it down to show you what skills to use and when to use them. You get some valid excuses there. I may have helped him there. I may have helped him there. I may have just helped him escape. Or not, he didn't know what to do. For this build, I always try to open up with the Q ability to take a chunk of the enemy's health. This will give you an advantage early on. If they are using a melee weapon, you can use your W ability to create separation and to negate some of their damages while you deal your own. Take note that you can also use your W ability to interrupt your opponent's skills. After that, I use my Demon Helmet to silence the enemy and immediately use my E ability. Silencing the enemy before dealing your burst damage increases your chances of fully dealing the incredible amount of damage of the bolt casters. You spend a lot of time just standing while using the skills of this build so you are an easy target to hit. That is where the Mercenary Jacket comes in. Pair your R ability with your Q or your E ability to regain some of your health. If you hit your combos good enough, your enemy must be close to dying at this point. You just then cycle through your Q or your E ability to finish them off. That is how easy it is to use the bolt casters in Corrupted Dungeons, so make sure to give it a shot and let me know how it goes in the comments section below. Also, make sure to join this week's giveaway where I give out two 7-day premium codes to lucky winners. Good luck to everyone who will join and enjoy the rest of the video. I'm trying to catch me off guard. Okay. Oh, wait, that's that's a pretty good. Good job. That's pretty good. That is extremely good. Don't die, 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 don't die. Okay. That was really good. Good job. Great purge. E! 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. In bold casters we trust.
<laughs> what? W what? Actually, is that? Oh, it's a Claren. How can he... How is he able to um, do that? How is he... How is he even allowed to do that, man? Oh shit, ow, that hurts. That hurts, buddy. You need to apologize to me, that hurts. Oh, that actually stings. That actually stings. Oh, wow. I may lose this. I may lose this, boys. Fudge you. Fudge you. Fudge you, actually. I actually fudge you. Can he cancel me even more? Can he cancel me even more here? I don't want to get down by these meatballs. It's actually it is actually waiting for me to like. He just runs. That's the trick. That's the play. You run from the thing. That's the play, boys. You run from the E. That's it. Look at all you've gone through. All the crazy and the bittersweet too. That's it. That's the play. You run from the E. 